I'm going to get you an apartment building for 50% off the price. Yeah. I want to show you how to get an apartment building for half off. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. I'm James Wise. If you're trying to buy apartment buildings in the Cleveland market, this is where you want to be. I help you guys. I help investors from all over the world navigate the market. Today I'm working for Rafa. Rafa and his wife from Ventura County, California. Now, Rafa, you just recently sent me a four-unit apartment building. And I had told you four-unit apartment buildings in the Cleveland market should be about 200 k or more. And I told you in not so many words that the apartment building you sent to me that was priced at 169 was a dumpster fire of a piece of crap deal. Terrible deal. I thought you were going to lose your booty on that deal, and I advised you not to buy that. And I said, anytime you buy an apartment building, a four-unit apartment building for that price in the Cleveland market, there's a reason for that. And guess what I'm doing today? I'm showing you a four-unit apartment building in the Cleveland market that's even cheaper than that, but I think it's a pretty good deal. But it's not like it's a perfect deal and you're just getting a steal. No, no, no. There's a reason it's so much cheaper. And if you could deal with all the BS that comes uh, with that and deal with the hassle that comes with that, you'll end up with a very good long-term investment that you bought at a significant discount. So... Let's jump into exactly how to structure that deal, exactly what the risks are, and exactly what you're going to get right now. Two, please. Welcome back, folks. Why is this quad half price, right? Why is it half off, okay? This property, four-unit apartment building. I love four-unit apartment buildings. If you've never watched Holton Wise TV before, you don't know what I'm about to tell you. If you have watched Holton Wise TV before, I've probably told this to you many times, but I feel... Deep, 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 deep in my soul, folks, deep in my soul that the four-unit apartment building is by far the best real estate investment that you can get, the absolute best, right? Anybody who's interested in long-term buy and hold should want to buy a four-unit apartment building. Unless, of course, you don't like multifamily and you only want single-family rentals, in which case, yeah, that's cool. That makes sense, right? But for those of you that are out there looking at the multifamily space, the four-unit apartment building is better than the two-unit. It is better than the three-unit. It is better than the five-unit. It is better than the six-unit. You're probably like, okay, I get it. Why? I get why it's better than the two and the three, but why is it better than the five and a six? Financing, man. Financing. I love real estate. I love real estate a lot. Uh, but I don't, like, love real estate because I love architecture or this or that, okay? That's not why I love real estate. I love real estate because I really love money, okay? Money is why I actually love real estate. Real estate is a great vehicle to get me money, okay? It's changed my life. It's made me millions of dollars. I love it. I'd be humping a crappy 9-to-5 job if it wasn't for the money I've made from real estate, okay? If I felt I could make money better doing something than real other than real estate, I would. Okay, I don't. It's not like I'm like, oh, real estate's got to be real estate. No, dude, I'm a, I'm gonna do what I think makes the most money. But I feel that the real estate investment vehicle is the best investment vehicle over other vehicles, right? Like I don't know, you could open up a Etsy shop. Uh, you could uh, be a barber. You could do tattoos. You could uh, freaking I don't know, whittle, 
little wooden figurines and sell them on said Etsy shop. I, you could do whatever you want to make some coin, folks. But everything I just mentioned, the Etsy shop, the barber shop, the tattoo shop, you know what you can't get for any of those businesses? You can't get somebody to loan you 75% of your costs over 30 years on low tax deductible fixed interest terms, okay? Yeah. With real estate, you can. With residential loans, you can. But here's the catch. With residential loans, you only get 10 of them. You should utilize one on your own personal home first. Take care of home base first. That means you only get nine of these residential loans, and they only qualify for single family, duplex, triplex, quad, okay? So if you only get nine of these loans, they're limited Four rental income checks is the most rental income checks you can get per loan. So if you take care of home base first, you can get 36 tenants out of your nine loans. 36, in my opinion, is better than nine or 18 or 27, okay? Once you get to a five unit, you're like, oh, cool, let me get five units. Can't get that loan. You got to do a commercial loan. Terms nowhere near as good, right? So I think because of that, Four units are by far the best investment because the financing is the best. It's the most rent you can get with the best financing of any type in the world, in my opinion. That's why I love real estate. That's why I love quads when I'm doing real estate. You with me? I hope you are. Take notes, folks. No, don't take notes because if you take notes, I don't get second views and you don't have to watch my ads again and I don't get any more money. Just Watch the video five times and then share it with a friend and tell his ass to watch it too, okay? Get JY's that money, boy! Anyway. 107700 okay? That's what they're asking for this four unit. This thing should normally sell for two, a little bit above two. What is the catch? Why is it half price? And if it is half price, why has it been on the market for three weeks and nobody's bought it? It's half off, right? Should be a $200,000 quad. Why is it so cheap? I'll tell you why it's so cheap, right? Usually there's two reasons. One... Uh, three reasons, actually. One, the property's totally destroyed. That's not the situation here. Yes, it's run down. Okay, you're going to see it's like old, run down. Okay, nothing special. Like, these are the tenants' units. Like, just, you know, crummy units, transient stuff. Okay, but it's fully occupied, so it's habitable, right? We got four tenants in there. So it's not like it's totally run down. It needs full renovation. That's not the situation. The other thing is maybe the neighborhood's just too horrible, right? No, I like this neighborhood quite a bit. The address is 1053 Washington and Lorraine. I love Lorraine. Lorraine is actually one of my favorite markets to invest in right now because a lot of out-of-state investors have come to the Cleveland market, and they're inflating the prices, but they only look at Cleveland. They don't look at the surrounding area. So I think we get really good uh, pricing in Lorraine. And I like dealing with the government in Lorraine more than I like dealing with the government in Cleveland. So I think for investors, if you're looking for like C grade stuff, dude, Lorraine is hot right now, but it's not really hot. That's the thing. Like it's hot for me and people to watch my show, but like other people paying attention to the national uh, publications, like you always read blogs, like where's the best cash flow markets, right? And Cleveland's always up there. Well, this is in the Cleveland market. But nobody looks past the word Cleveland, and everybody just focuses on Cleveland. So, like, it kind of inflates the prices artificially a little bit, right? So I really, really like Lorraine. So it's not half off because the neighborhood sucks. I like the neighborhood, right? It's half off because it's being ran like a shit show is what it is, right? You got four tenants in there, okay? And they're paying 400, 400, four and a quarter, 400, 1625, okay? And to my understanding... The mom-and-pop landlord is letting these people pay like every two weeks, right? And then you've seen the pictures, not a lot of furniture. So what you got is just like some mom-and-pop landlord that's just running it crummy, dude. He's probably got four slummy-ass tenants in there with probably without two nickels to rub together, right? It's the only way you're doing bi-weekly rent. You're doing bi-weekly rent. Because you're the kind of guy or gal that probably usually lives in a hotel or a motel and pays by the week, right? You just, as soon as you get your money, boom, it's out the door, right? So it's got, you know, four tenants that, in my opinion, are probably not desirable, right? They're probably not going to be your market rent tenants. Your market rent tenants, though, folks, what this should be renting for, 800, 750, 750, 500, 2,800 a month, 33,600 a year. After you run normal fixed and variable expense estimates, that's an NOI, in my estimation, 
of almost 18k. Now, it's not run down, so you don't have to buy a cash. All you got to do is put down 26,944. Bank kicks in 80,833 for you on that beautiful 30-year mortgage. If you bought it at list 10777, it would project out to a 52% cash on cash return if you got these four slummy tenants to pay market rent without kicking any of them out. 52% cash on cash return. Is that possible? Yes. Is that likely? Probably not, folks. That's why it's half off, right? I can't tell you for sure uh, that you won't be able to uh, get all four tenants to pay market rent and achieve that super high number. Uh, but I'll tell you, I find it to be very unlikely, right? I find the fact that uh, the rents are so low, he's collecting it biweekly, and he's selling it for half off to be just a guy who wants to dump it, doesn't want to deal with it, right? So you have to take uh, this information uh, and understand that you're getting a hundred grand off because these four folks are probably assholes, okay? And uh, maybe we'll get a couple up. Maybe we'll evict a couple. Maybe we'll evict all four. I don't know. I can't tell you. Uh, they're unscreened, and uh, the seller's not going to come out and be like, "Yo, these tenants suck." That's not what they're going to say. They're like, "Oh, they're great tenants. They're great tenants." But we got to look at the the clues. It hasn't sold yet. It's half off. He's collecting rent bi-weekly. They got no furniture, right? So assume you're getting crummy tenants. Assume you're getting crummy tenants. Is the $100,000 discount worth it for you to get those crummy tenants? Assuming all the units look like that, you're looking at probably 10 k a unit turnover minimum, uh, 10 to 15, uh, depending on if we got to do like kitchens and stuff, right? So how frequently that that happens remains to be seen right we might get a good egg out of there and keep some folks in there we don't want to immediately go in and boot everybody right the goal the first goal what we'd want to do first is we'd want to go in and get everybody to sign a year lease at rents similar to their current rents okay uh and we're doing that not because we're down to keep those folks in there at super low rents no 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 we're doing that because uh there's this when you get a situation like this, I'm sure these people are on oral leases, right? When the new landlord comes in, and if the tenant doesn't pay you rent ever, right, you then file eviction. Of course, right? But then when we get into court, typically the tenants are like, oh, I didn't know he sold. I paid the old guy. And we always win those cases, but it usually gets delayed. The judge always delays it, lets the tenant try to get more evidence. They can never come up with this evidence, and then we eventually evict them. But every time we go to court, you're dropping at least $700 to have us go to court for you. So what you want to do is you want to incentivize the tenants uh, to sign a lease with you that outlines the terms. So then if they do not pay you rent, boom, we evict them in court, no problem. And then we'll do the unit turn, and we'll get you uh, a new market rent paying tenant. So this Good investment for the long term. A lot of equity built in. Uh, but, you know, it's going to be a little bit of uh take some time to stabilize it, right? And there's some unknowns here, right? So is the $100,000 discount uh, worth all of that stuff uh, for you? That's what you have to ask yourself. But I think it's a screamer of a deal. And I believe that we will probably, in my experience, is doing things like this, you know, get a couple of those tenants to stay and eventually pay more rent. But over the next, like, two or three years, I'm sure you're turning at least 50% of that building. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.